droplets are positioned carefully, taking due account of the warp and weft of the fabric. After completing the cutting of the tubular section in all its parts, the fabric is then sanded. powder is removed from the sanded parts. The adhesive tape is applied in order to avoid bonding glue rub. The first coat of bonding glue is then applied. One should take into account the glue opening time on the basis of temperature and humidity, with pitchiness virtually nil. A second coat is applied, accessible according to the manufacturer's preparation rates. The bonding joints obtained are pressed with a steel rule, exerting pressure on both parts of the joint and then pressed a second time with an iron roller. Corresponding tabs, previously cut to 45 degrees, sanded and solutioned, are placed on the inside of the bonding joints.
baffles and caps are prepared separately. With the tubular section open, after executing the internal sealing, the parts involved in the application of the valves and baffles are prepared, sanded and solutioned. The two side tubes are then attached to the bow. The caps are fitted and then the baffles.
Lastly, the outside of the bonding joint is sealed.
On completing the webbing, after about 72 hours, the tubular section is inflated and checked for air tightness. Once this is done, the product is ready to be mounted on the hull.